Hi, this is Justin from Jar Productions. In this video, I want to show you how you can combine tall pages with liquid layout pages. In a previous video, I showed you how to use liquid layout and how to use that with responsive layouts. I'm going to build on that a little bit in this video. So if you haven't seen that one, you might want to go back and watch it. The liquid layouts allow me to pin things to corners of the screen or center of the screen, allow things to scale or not scale. So for example, as I scale this in and out, you can see the item in five in the left is stays in the left. The subhead liquid plus tall pages demo stays in the top right. Things in the bottom right stay there. Things in the bottom left stay there, etc. And then the text in the middle is, is scaling to fit. And then it swaps to a different layout. All that stuff I've showed you in a previous video make these different layouts. This phone one has a scrolling frame to accommodate the smaller screen real estate. But there's another option, I could actually make tall pages. So for example, if I go to this next page, you can see this is a tall page and it lets me scroll down. Now if I go out a little bit, you can see that the first layout also has a tall page for the second page. I just have a rectangle there as a placeholder to show you where I might put an image if I want to make this different kind of page. So how do I go about making this? Liquid layout is 100% width by 100% height. I'm going to switch over to InDesign now and I'll show you how I did this. Now just like responsive layouts, you'll need version 3.6 or higher of N5. In this one I've added support for tall pages in Liquid Layout. It's already supported in most of the other formats except for the page flip format. And essentially what that allows you to do is to scale pages in your layout so they're not all the same. Maybe some of them you want to fit to the window in terms of the height and some of them you want to be taller and scroll just like we saw. So I can actually do that in a multi-layout setting. So if you look at my Pages panel, I have the three different layouts. These are the ones set up in the responsive Liquid Layouts video. And I'll go down and look at the second page, which make actually it's a little bit more telling if I scroll. So I'll go back up to this one and scroll down. You can see this is taller. Second layout I didn't do anything with, but the third layout, remember, I have this scrolling frame, which is a little bit harder to see. But if I clicked on this, you could see that it's taller than the frame itself. I'm just going to undo that. And if I go down to the next page, what I did was expand the height of the page. So now this text fits there completely. So let's take a look at how we set those up. It's actually pretty simple for the most part. I'll switch over to a starting document. Now this is a little bit tricky if you don't have the pages, but I'm going to go down and create new pages and you can see with the liquid layout it's kind of funky this implementation it puts this page at the end so I'm going to drag it back over here so it goes back into my first alternate layout and then I'll go here and create a duplicate of the second one now when you're creating responsive layouts the page count of each layout has to match otherwise there's no page to switch to when you're scaling and so when you go to export, N5 isn't even going to give you the responsive layout options. So now I've got duplicates of each of my pages. I'll show you how to make them taller. I'll go to the second page, and I'm going to use the Page tool to make it larger. And usually what I like to do is just adjust the height of the page up here. It's a little bit easier. So I'll make this 1,200. And just a side note, I have a totally separate video on this, but there is a script. If you have existing pages that you want to merge together into a tall page, so you have like, say, three pages that you really want to be one scrolling page, there is a scripts in the scripts panel that gets installed with N5, and it is called Merge Pages Vertically. It's under the HR Productions heading in there. So that's just a quick note if you want to do that. In this case, I'm essentially building them from scratch. So I made this 1200 pixel tall page. And now the, the main trick is that the master page items are going to get kind of wiggy because the master page is set up to be the size of that original page. So I'm going to get the selection tool. And what I want to do is override the master page items. So I'm going to hold Command on the Mac or Control on PC and Shift together. And I'm just going to click each of these items as I go make sure I've got all of them and then I've let go of my keys and I'm going to press down shift again just to constrain the dragging and drag it down to the bottom zoom out a little bit so this text frame I'm I'm not really beholden to these three columns anymore I've got all this luxurious space so why don't I make it a single column layout and then as I did 
in that demo file. I might just put a placeholder here and I could switch the fill and stroke and bring it down to a gray so it looks more like a placeholder. And I might just want to double check my liquid layout rules. Nothing on there. Those should be fine for now with no rules. So that is the that's the basic creation of a tall page. I've got it there. And same thing with this this last page on the smaller layout. I use the page tool. And this time I might want to eyeball it. So actually what I did was start with a selection tool. And I went in, I double clicked, and then I hit escape. So now it has the text frame selected. And I'm just going to cut that out from where it was and select the frame that was masking it, delete it, and go back to edit and paste that text frame back in place. So now I can see how tall the text frame is and how much space I need. So I'm going to get the page tool and just make sure I only have the page selected. And then I'll hold shift and just click the height up until it looks like it's the right amount. Get my selection tool again and command plus shift or control plus shift. Make sure I just get all these items. Text frame is actually in my way a little bit. There we go. Now hold shift and drag that down to the bottom. So now I've got that tall page and when I export in five will automatically say hey this page is taller than the starting page of my layout so I'm gonna make space for it and not set it to a hundred percent height. As I said you've been able to do this with other formats and in five in the past but now I've added it to the liquid layout because I think it's gonna be even more useful with the responsive layouts. One thing to keep in mind when you're creating your tall pages is that if you just had a single layout in five is going to compare the page size to the document setup but the way InDesign creates alternate layouts. It doesn't really have a setting for the alternate layout. So the only thing that can be used as a guide is what the first page is. So if you're using responsive layouts, the first page in your layout can't be a tall page. And that's not true if you're doing a single layout, but if you're doing responsive layouts, the only way to tell what size the layout should be is the first page. So you don't want to make that a tall page, otherwise N5 will think that's the size of that entire alternate layout. So I hope that helps you create some really cool responsive content. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like it if you found it helpful and subscribe to the Ajar Productions channel. Hit the bell to get notified on new videos and I hope to see you in the next video soon.